Imagine this. You're on a red-eye flight over the ocean. No Wi-Fi. No cell towers. Everyone's phone is basically a dead brick, except yours. You're messaging, checking updates, maybe even sending a quick video straight through satellites. Now fast forward to the end of that same day. You filmed high quality video, taken insane low light photos, scrolled social, navigated in a new city, and your battery still isn't begging for a charger. That's the future the iPhone 18 Pro Max is rumored to be aiming for. Not just a little faster or a bit shinier, but a phone built for people who actually live on their devices. Let's break down what's being reported and you decide if this sounds like the first iPhone in a long time that's truly different. First, design and battery. The stuff you feel every single day. Apple is expected to make the iPhone 18 Pro and Pro Max a little thicker than previous models. Now normally, that would set off alarm bells. Thicker usually means clunkier. But this time, the trade-off might actually be worth it because that extra thickness is rumored to hide a battery of up to 5,500 milliamp hours. For an iPhone, that's huge. Think about how your day usually goes. You wake up, take it off the charger, check messages, stream music on the commute, scroll at lunch, shoot video in the afternoon, maybe some gaming at night, and by evening, you're either hunting for an outlet or living in low power mode. With a battery that size, Apple could finally give you a phone where battery anxiety just disappears. Wake up, unplug, live your life, and still have juice left when you're done. No more carrying a power bank just to survive a normal day. And they're not just tweaking the internals. The look is getting a shake-up too. Rumors say Apple is ditching some of its safe, repetitive colors and introducing three bolder, more expressive options. A deep burgundy red that feels premium and dramatic. A light coffee brown that looks like something out of a luxury fashion brand. And a soft pastel purple that's stylish without being loud. These aren't childish bright colors, and they're not boring corporate gray. They're the kind of tones that look intentional, like your phone is part of your style, not just an appliance you tolerate. So the outside gets more personality, and the inside gets way more endurance. But the real magic of this phone might be what happens when you try to connect to the world. Let's talk about connectivity, because this is where things start to feel like science fiction. The iPhone 18 Pro lineup is rumored to use Apple's new custom C2 and C2X chips, designed to support Wi-Fi 8, the next generation of wireless networking. Okay, pause. We've all heard new Wi-Fi standard a hundred times. It usually sounds like empty tech jargon. So here's what Wi-Fi 8 could actually mean for you. Picture walking into a stadium, a concert, or a packed airport in the US. Right now, your phone slows to a crawl. Messages hang, videos buffer, everything feels clogged. Wi-Fi 8 is built for those kinds of environments. It's designed to handle way more devices at once, with better stability and smarter traffic management. So instead of your connection falling apart when you need it most, it stays usable, fast enough to upload, stream, or hop on a call without wanting to throw your phone. Now add this on top. Satellite support. Apple already dipped its toes into satellite features with emergency messaging on recent iPhones. But leaks around the iPhone 18 Pro Max suggest they might go a lot further, reportedly working with Starlink to expand what satellite on an iPhone can actually do. Imagine being on a road trip through the desert, or hiking miles into a national park, or flying across the country, and still being able to stay in touch without a single cell tower nearby. Not just a one-time emergency ping, but more flexible communication and potential data access through satellites themselves. That means your phone stops being something that dies the moment you leave the city. It becomes a kind of lifeline for travelers, pilots, truck drivers, campers, sailors, or anyone in rural America where no service is still very real. If Apple and Starlink really pull this off, every other flagship phone instantly looks less serious. Now let's move to the part that will dominate every ad, every billboard, every social media post. The camera. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who has a strong track record. With Apple leaks, says the iPhone 18 lineup is expected to bring a huge upgrade to the main rear camera, a variable aperture lens. If you don't shoot on big cameras, here's what that means in plain English. Most phones today use a fixed aperture, like your camera's 
I is stuck one size forever. A variable aperture can physically open wider or close down smaller, depending on the scene. In low light, in a bar, at a party, shooting night city shots, the lens can open wider. That lets more light hit the sensor, which means less grain, more detail, and brighter, cleaner photos. In bright light, sunny outdoor shots, cityscapes, group photos, the lens can close down. That helps keep more of the scene in sharp focus and can reduce overexposure and softness. This is the same principle used in DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It's been a dream feature for phones for a long time. For you, it translates into more natural background blur in portraits where your subject pops and the background melts away, not just with software guessing the edges, but with real optical separation. More consistent results in tricky lighting, like backlit windows, harsh sun, or moody low-light interiors. And for those who love photography, it opens the door to more creative control without lugging around a separate camera. The best part? Most people will never need to worry about the technical side. You aim, you shoot, the phone quietly adjusts the aperture based on the situation. It just works, the complexity stays hidden. And then there's video. The iPhone 18 Pro Max is expected to jump into 8K recording. Again, you might be thinking, I don't even own an 8K TV. Why do I care? Because 8K isn't just about watching. It's about flexibility. Shooting in 8K means you can crop into your footage for a tighter shot without losing sharpness when exporting to 4K. Reframe your scene in editing like you shot with multiple cameras, even though you only had one. Stabilize shaky footage more effectively because you're working with more pixels than you need. Combine that with advanced stabilization that uses both hardware and software, and suddenly, handheld footage looks smoother, more cinematic, and more professional than ever. If you're a YouTuber, TikTok creator, filmmaker, or just someone who loves capturing high-quality memories, the iPhone 18 Pro Max starts looking less like a phone with a nice camera and more like a pocket-sized studio. Shoot 8K. Edit right on the device. Color grade. Trim. Add titles. Ooh, polat. No heavy camera bag. No laptop required if you don't want it. So who is this phone really for? When you piece it all together, a clear picture starts to form. A thicker body hiding a massive battery, built for all-day screen on use. Smarter connectivity through Wi-Fi 8 for crowded American cities, airports, events, and apartment buildings. Potential Starlink satellite integration to keep you connected off the grid, in the air, or in the middle of nowhere. A variable aperture main camera for better low light, more natural portraits, and more control. 8K video and strong stabilization, turning your phone into a serious tool for content creation. This isn't the kind of upgrade you buy just because you're bored of your old wallpaper. It's the kind of device you buy because you travel, you work on the go, you create, or you simply refuse to be limited by your phone anymore. Now, of course, all of this is based on leaks and early reports. Apple hasn't officially shown the iPhone 18 Pro or Pro Max yet, and plans can always change. But if even most of this makes it to the final product, we're not just looking at the next iPhone. We're looking at the first one in years that actually changes what a phone is for a lot of people. So here's what I want you to think about. Which rumored upgrade matters most to you personally? The huge battery? The possible Starlink satellite connectivity? or the variable aperture camera and 8K video. Would you use this as your main camera? Would you feel safer traveling with this kind of connectivity in your pocket? Tell me in the comments. I read them and I wanna know if this sounds like your next phone or if you think it's just overhyped marketing with a bigger price tag. If you enjoyed this breakdown and you want more deep dives into upcoming tech without the fluff, make sure you hit like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Because as we get closer to launch, I'll be covering every major leak, every confirmed feature, and how it actually impacts you in day-to-day -day life. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video.